All right, today we're going to be talking about trimming. Um, I chose a bowl because it's the simplest object to trim. Um, so this is a, there's four things that I'm going to teach you about trimming today. One, when you trim a bowl, the first thing you want to take into consideration is a continuous curve. The difference between this, this bowl and this dog dish is that this dog dish has a flat bottom. A curve, a curve is what you're looking for. A curve looks more pleasing, it looks a lot nicer. So if you have a flat bottom, then you might want to consider the way you've been trimming. The second thing you want to take into consideration is a glaze catch. Now, a glaze catch is, you can see this bowl right here. It does not go straight up and down. It hews out. It's concave. And what that does is that when, when you glaze the bowl and it fires at really high temperature, when the glaze drips down, it has that catch. Just like catching a ball, the foot catches the glaze. So you want the U, that's something. Now, in order to get that U shape, what you can use, you can use a small trimming tool. That's the same shape. So you can touch that, that'll make the U. And I'll show you over here in the demonstration. Okay, proportional foot. Let me go for the example real quick. Okay, so proportional foot. So a good rule on a bowl is your foot should be about the half the width of the rim. So this one is about the fourth the size of a rim. It's it's really small. It looks kind of awkward. Um, now with this foot right here, that's perfect. You have, it's about, it's a little less than half and it looks pretty desirable, it looks good. Um, so proportional foot. Most students in the beginning class make, you guys make your bolt, your feet too wide and you leave a lot of clay at the bottom. So that brings me to the next one, consistent thickness. Now what I do when I trim a foot or trim a bowl is I stick my fingers in the bowl and I feel where it starts to become a little bit thicker. Where it starts to become thicker, I make a mark on it with my trimming tool, with my finger, fingernail, and then I go and I trim the pot. So a couple things before we start, uh, things to take into consideration. Um, so this is a question for you guys right now. When do you trim a pot? Do you trim it when it's wet, leather hard, or bone dry? If you said bone dry or um, wet, you're wrong. It's leather hard, you should know that. When you trim, I see a lot of people going really slow or really fast. You wanna keep it at a consistent medium speed. The tools you'll be using are a small trimming tool and a large trimming tool. Another important thing is you want to put your name, so I put Kyler B, your period, 4A, and the date, 2015. If you don't have those on there, Mr. Pop is not going to fire it. Let's go over and show you how to trim a bowl. 